I'm Senior Airman Joshua Williams, and welcome to your September 2016 edition of The Barrel, news from Niagara. Since it's already September, that means one thing for the 914th Airlift Wing. It's time for Family Day celebrations. We kick off Family Day this Saturday with a cadence run on the track at 9 a.m. The Family Day picnic will take place in the afternoon from noon to 4. New to this year's event is The Brain Show, a Jeopardy-style trivia game taking place from 1 to 2, and an inflatable obstacle course challenge for parents and children from 2.30 to 3.45. If you signed up for the Whirlpool Jet Boat Ride, transportation will be departing from the base at 5 in the afternoon. Call 236-2110 for more details. On Sunday morning at 1045, join Air Force Reserve Command Chaplain Colonel Gary Califf for a special service that honors the men and women of 9-11. It's going to be a red carpet welcome home for our deployers on September 18th. Stop out at the base to welcome them home and see our C-130s return from their last overseas deployment. Contact your supervisors for the latest updates on times and locations. On Friday, September 30th, is the end of the season golf outing at Double Black Diamond on Holiday Valley Resort. The event is free for all 914th Airlift Wing members who deployed this past year in support of ongoing operations. All their members, to include civilians, retirees, may also participate for a cost of $65. September is Suicide Awareness Month, and this year's theme is Be There. Remember, we are all in this together. Be a good wingman. This month, the Niagara Falls Air Reserve Station was host to a joint training exercise for first responders in a simulated dirty bomb discovery. The exercise brought together multiple agencies in a realistic training environment where EOD and civilian responders work together. Jason Thompson, the lead firefighter for the exercise, spoke to us about the training. What we discovered today was a dirty bomb in a vehicle coming through the gate. What a dirty bomb is, is a radiological device that is just meant to disperse radiation. It's not meant to cause mass destruction. It's more of a mass disruption type device. I thought everything went pretty good, and um, the guys here did fantastic today. Um, communication was great, and that's usually the worst part of any drill. But uh, communication between all the agencies went fantastic today. Well, that's it for your September edition of The Barrel. I'm Senior Airman Joshua Williams reporting for the 914th Airlift Wing, a current qualified mission-ready force.